we begin with the top storylines of the winter. Number five, in competitive cheerleading, Gibraltar Carlson have been the queens of the sport for more than a decade. But last year, their seven-year D2 championship winning streak came to an end and by less than a point. But in 2018, back with a vengeance, the Marauders led wire to wire at the finals and won their 10th state title in 12 years. Our number four story was the incredible success of the new Project Unified League. We headed to Novi this season for their first game that gives special needs student athletes an opportunity to play alongside their peers. The crowds were great, props to the KLAA, big success and we know this league is only going to grow. The top number three storyline, Detroit Edison, what a winner. The girls basketball team came in the defending Class E state champs, just a single loss all season, and they avenged that defeat to Arbor Prep in the state championship. Led by a Miss Basketball finalist this season, Laisha Peterson, and a Miss Basketball hopeful next year, Rakia Jackson, Pioneers beat Arbor Prep by 17, but even more unlikely, the Edison boys team winning a state championship. Only the fourth team to enter the playoffs under 500 and win the whole thing. Pioneers defeated Maple City Glen Lake for their first title, and Detroit Edison became the fourth school to win both the girls' and the boys' titles in the same season. Number two, to the Hockey State Finals, never count out Brighton. The defending state champs came in the underdog in the semifinals. All they did was knock off our consensus number one, Detroit Catholic Central. Bulldogs finished it off by beating Saginaw Heritage in the D1 title tilt. Brighton unquestionably one of the top two public high school hockey programs over the last 15 years. Livingston County had more to celebrate. Five of the last six years, Heartland advanced to the Final Four, but never a champion. Not anymore. Led by our Hockey Player of the Year, Jake Bakey, the Eagles beat Trenton 4-2, first hockey title in school history. And finally, to number one. We saw one of the best boys basketball players in Michigan history finish his career like it came from a Hollywood script. Clarkston's Foster Lawyer was a four-time first-team All-Stater on a team that went 97-6 during his career. Not only did he help deliver the state title for the first time in over 30 years to which coach Dan Fife last season, as a senior, he won the Mr. Basketball Award with twice as many first-place votes than anyone. The Michigan State signee finishes top 10 in several career scoring categories, and it was not without some drama. What appeared to be a knee injury in the district's lawyer would not be sidelined. The Wolves rolled in the semifinals, 42 points, 40 more in the championship. Congrats to the new all-time leading scorer for the Clarkston Wolves, Foster Lawyer. And those are your top storylines from the winter.